HPV is a virus that's transmitted sexually. It's a human papillomavirus and it is the primary cause of invasive cervical cancer. There's over a hundred different individual types of HPV infection that, that have been found to date. Of these, about 30 different types infect the genital tract. And of these, a smaller proportion, a little over a dozen, between 13 and 15 types, we found cause cancer. And of these types that cause cancer, two types in particular, HPV type 16 and 18, these two types we find in a higher proportion of cervical cancer cases. These two types of infection cause the vast majority, 70% of invasive cervical cancer, but they also are a very important cause of anal cancer in both women and men. About 50% of, of, of penile cancer is due to HPV. It, it's also, um, these in, in, infections also are a cause, a significant cause of vaginal cancer in women a small proportion of vulvar cancer in, in women, as well as actually, um, believe it or not, HPV also causes certain types of oral cancer. HPV um, vaccines are a, really a revolution for cervical cancer prevention. The vaccine that we have currently in use in the United States that has been approved by the U.S. government is a vaccine that prevents four types of HPV two types that cause cancer, 16 and 18, and two types that do not cause cancer, 6 and 11, but those two types, 6 and 11, cause genital warts. So this vaccine has been developed to prevent both cervical cancer and genital warts. Another vaccine has been developed and is under review by the U.S. government for use in the, in the United States, and this vaccine prevents against types 16 and 18 and potentially both vaccines may provide some protection against other cancer-causing types. What's um, amazing about the, the vaccines, which is really quite incredible, is that the vaccines lead to what I call whomping antibody titers, very high responses, immune responses to the vaccine are a result of injection with these virus-like particles. And what we see is that the, the immune response to these HPV vaccines um, are incredibly strong as, as compared to responses during an individual when they're exposed to HPV in the natural environment. We know a number of things about the vaccine. We know, we know that it's incredibly effective against HPV associated lesions, cervical intraepithelial lesions, abnormal cytology due to HV types 16 and 18, which are the, the high risk types that the vaccine prevents. We know that the vaccine prevents infection of the vaccine types. That's persistent infection. We know that the vaccine that has four types prevents against genital warts. But what we don't know is how long the protection will be. Now we currently have data up to six years and over in terms of, of looking at how well the vaccines are preventing in, infections as well as disease caused by vaccine types, and the data is impeccable. We have to see, though, as, as we, we see, as we follow up women who've been vaccinated, exactly how long the vaccines will be good for. Right now, um, these preventive vaccines um, have been approved for use in, in young female adolescents. And we are waiting um, for the, the review of the data on the prevention of HPV among young male adolescents. But when you think about prevention in the larger picture, you have to think about vaccination and continued screening of, of for, for, for women in order in, for the prevention of cervical cancer. This is an opportunity for us to really, I think, consider the elimination of cervical cancer. If you can combine a strong vaccination program with a continued strong screening program within the U.S. context, we could actually think about true elimination of cervical cancer. This is a real opportunity I think that we have.